he's my animal's going extinct. What about global warming? What about the habitat losses? Let's move about it. Yeah. The need to save animals due to the fact that those animals might sustain others. For example, the panda is going extinct and they keep bamboo forests alive, so when pandas go extinct, so does bamboo. A globally endangered animal, is, as I said earlier, is the giant panda. The panda lives in China and there are only 1,200 left in the wild. The population is depleting because of habitat being destroyed by climate change and humans are building different buildings and train tracks throughout the bamboo forest. A locally endangered animal is the rosy tern. This bird lives along the northeast coast. This animal is going extinct due to the fact that their breeding grounds are either impossible to lay eggs on or inhabited by other animals such as gulls. These are only a few of the many endangered animals. Sea turtles may die when they eat plastic bags, tar, and other trash floating in the oceans. Sea turtles also die when they get tangled up in old fishing lines. Buildings now stand on many of the sea turtles' nesting beaches. People hunt and make leather from their skin and jewelry from their shells. Sea turtles may nest on the same beaches used by their families for hundreds of thousands of years. And all they have to guide them is the earth, the water, and the sky. There are also horseshoe crabs. Some scientists blame the heavy use of horseshoe crabs for eel and conch bait. Scientists worry that horseshoe numbers will drop so low that they will take decades to rise again. Besides bait fishing, horseshoe crabs face another huge threat. Loss of nesting beaches. Large rocks placed on some beaches to protect buildings from waves can cause horseshoes to get trapped and die. On beaches without walls, some communities toss out rocks, broken cylinder blocks, and bricks to slow down sand loss. This junk doesn't stop horseshoe crabs, but when they try to nest on the littered shores, they often die. We need to sustain these animals to keep our planet going and have a healthy life. What do I do now? Okay, so I did research the Florida manatee, but actually sometimes you never have to work with an animal. Sometimes you're working to protect its habitat because that's like the most critical part of survival for a species. So I worked on finding out how much food was available for the manatee, and then I helped protect the waters where that food grass was. So that's how I started, and now what I do is I educate the people, the visitors to the wildlife refuges of what we, what the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service does to preserve habitat and to protect the species in Rhode Island and elsewhere. We can help animals by not destroying their habitat or taking away the things that they need to survive in the wilderness. When people destroy their habitat, it makes them die or force them to leave the area, and that's when they will start to die. Such as the panda. People are destroying the bamboo forest, and that means that they are losing their food source. Or throwing trash in the ocean. That will affect sea creatures like the sea turtle. Sea turtles get caught in the fishing nets, and that will kill them. Also, people are illegally dragging out and killing animals, such as lions. Finally, people are illegally hunting animals. Some places in Africa you can travel to, pay someone, and they will let you shoot an endangered animal. What are some ways we can stop extinction? Keeping trash out of the ocean. Don't build stuff in there.